Listen, everyone, I just gotta tell you, this is the best to do is habit tracker. It's no secret that for a long time, people were like, hey, to do is, this is a habit tracker, right? And then you go, no. And then people go, oh, why not? Well, I mean, TikTok has one if you wanna use that. And they're like, but I like the way to do is works. And you're like, well, make sure to check out Dimitri's video because he'll show you how to make that thing in like five minutes. You're welcome. Just kidding, more like three. Getting started, what I would recommend you do is that you go to your project section and go to habits, just so that you have a section for it. And then we can go pick, uh, let's pick lime green, I guess, right here. Now, what you're gonna have to do is go to your settings here and integrations, and then you're gonna browse. So in browse, you're gonna find a lot of really good integrations. And what I would recommend that you do is look for habit tracker. So you can basically use this to build habits within Todoist. So let's add this really quick. And then you can just go to the authentication here, press agree, go back, then already done. Now you have the option to do essentially add some labels to your recurring tasks and then it'll turn them into habits. So use the default ones or you can manually make them yourself. So I'm gonna do the default one. So we go in here to this habit section. Okay, so first what you're gonna do is then you're going to type in, let's say meditate. You're gonna turn this into the due date, not being today, but every day. And then what you're gonna pick here is the three dots then press track habit do you want to start tracking this task heck yeah i do track the task and then what you're going to see is that you're tracking this task complete this task to start your habit streak All right so now when you go into this task you press check and now what you're going to want to do is add this streak label or whatever custom one you have so a problem that i did have is that unless this streak label was made it wouldn't track it so i then can check this off again as an example you see this time it would work. So if I were to make a new task, you see at streak right here and then call it example. Uh, let's just do journal right here. We're in the journal task right now. We're gonna go here, break the habit, got the label on it. It'll show you that it's a habit. And then if you change this to every day, you got this. I check it off, it'll track it. So an option definitely for this is to set up a filter and label where filter name is habits and the query is uh, the at and then the name of the filter, pick the color that you want. And then right here, you could literally just have it as your habit tracker just like this and set it to uh, the multiple different ones. So you can go in your inbox, set it up, and then only view it in your uh, filter and label section of your habits right here. Or you could obviously have it all in here. What I would recommend you, you do is um, here and set up daily habits, right? Add subtasks for journal, meditate, and then put this little label in here. Track the habit, or I have to stop and start again, I guess. Let's start it again. Track habits. And if you want to, you then can sub habit all of these as well. So let's go here to a little habit, track habits. This is actually what I do at night. So I'm gonna call this nightly routine. And I saw this little trick from Keep Productive where he put a little emoji right here and I kind of like that. So let's do sleep right here. So then, for example, I check this one off. I have to set this to every day, sorry, uh, with that new updated feature. So I can set the recurring features to complete and reset subtasks. I can do this to check this guy off and then this, and then from here, be able to track multiple habits at once within the software. And it would show that you've got a streak going. And you'd have a streak of really good videos watched if you check out this one right here.